All those in favor? I think she said 20,000. If they raise more, we just to prove them exceeding the 20,000 well, appro limit. Well, approximately 20,000. Yeah. Right. Yes, I think that covers it. And um, all those in favor? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dave. Well, thank you. And happy thank you to your committee. Happy birthday. And what Reed didn't mention about the Berkeley uh, Festival is he won an award for his uh, fine play in the, the, the high school band. So congratulations on that award. Congratulations, Reed. Good job, Reed. That ain't cupcakes. Okay. Um, item B, consideration to approve the following policies for second reading. Kathy. Oh, turn yes, um, you have in your packet um, a policy for second reading that was here last month. Um, so I would like to move that we approve policy JRA-E, annual notice of student education records and information rights. It did go back to policy committee and there were no additional changes. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve? I just made the motion. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's Do okay. I have a second? Second. Second. All those in favor? Okay. Um, consideration to approve the following high school athletic extracurricular staff nominations. Um, Excuse me. Um, we have another set of policies. For oh, I thought you read, but I'm sorry. I lost track. That's okay. C. Item C. Consideration of the following policies for first reading. Uh, in your packets, you have uh, policy JKAA and JKAAR. Um, these are formerly JKGA and JKGAR. They are timeout rooms and therapeutic restraint and procedure on timeout rooms and therapeutic restraint. They are here for first reading. They are different than what we currently have in our policy book. They have gone through the policy committee um, and are presented tonight for you um, with the policy committee's uh, approval. If there are any specific questions, I know Dominic is here, and I'm sure that he could answer anything specific. Um, otherwise, they'll go back to policy committee for second reading. Any questions? Uh, the only question I had uh, uh, in JKAAR, page four or five, um, and throughout that document, it, it refers a lot to uh, a type of training, but I, I didn't read anywhere in the procedures, is there a requirement for, for training. Uh, it may fall out of the scope of this uh, document, but I didn't know if, if there was training required. Uh, yeah, it's up to each of the school districts, um, and most of the school districts in Cumberland County were moved from positive behavior supports, which was a SPRWINC um, uh, type of training, it's a two-day training, and we went to safety care. And so most of us in Cumberland County are all using safety care. So that that would fit that piece in the regulation. But they leave that up to the districts to decide which one they want to use. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. Um, item D, consideration to approve the following high school athletic extracurricular staff nominations. I'm not going to read the list to you, but for the benefit of the public, the school board is acting on spring coaching nominations. All right. Um, do I have a motion to approve the slate? Sure. I move that we approve the high school athletic extracurricular staff nominations as presented in our packet. Okay. Second. Michael. Okay, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Seven, zero. Okay. Um, item E, consideration to approve the proposed World Affairs Council trip to the University of North Carolina Model UN Conference, March 31st through April 3rd. Um, do we have any information? Jeff, do you want to give any information on that? I know we had information in our packet, so. I don't really have anything to add beyond what's in the packets. Um, Gretchen Minaldi has spotted this uh, particular trip as one that involves minimal um, 
taking kids away from the school day and also a very reasonable price for what's supposed to be a really high quality experience. Okay. Um, do I have a motion? Oh. Kim? Yeah, I'll move to um, approve the Cape Elizabeth World Affairs Council trip. I wish I could go with him. I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Second? Okay. Okay, any other discussion around this? Okay, all those in favor? <coughs> Great, thank you. Um, consideration to approve the mock trial team trip to Phoenix, Arizona, um, and this is for the national mock trial competition, May 4th through May 8th. Um, do I have a, a motion for that? Discussion. I move to approve the mock trial team trip to Phoenix, Arizona, National Mock Trial Competition, May 4th through 8th, 2011. Okay, do I have a second? Okay. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? Okay, thank you. All right, on to item number seven, committee reports. Um, any committee reports? Anything that you, we need to discuss, David? Um, there are some bills pending in the main legislature to allow um, one in both the House and the Senate to allow um, schools to conduct open bidding for health care. Uh, there's one. Uh, I've talked, emailed with Cynthia Dill about it, and she suggested we support the one uh, presented by the representative from Falmouth, I believe, which is also the main school board association bill. It does have some defects in it. Um, I pointed them out, and now I guess I have to point them out to the uh, Falmouth representative. But as it stands, there are two bills, and they um, need some adjustment. But with the adjustment, they'll be allow us to be in a position a year or so from now to, um, if permitted by our contract, and we um, we're talking to the teachers about that, um, at some point they'll allow t towns to conduct uh, bidding for our health plan, which, as you know, the report by the town task force believes will substa save substantial sums of money. Okay. Thank you, David. Anything else that anyone wants to report out on? Okay. Um, the website can always be checked for um, upcoming committee um, meeting dates. Uh, any school board agenda requests for April? Okay. You can always contact Ken or me if you do have something you want to put on the agenda. Um, announcements of upcoming meetings. Uh, we do have, uh, um, we've got workshops coming up Tuesday, March 15th at 7 p.m. at the Community Services Building. That would, um, we'll have a budget meeting actually right after this meeting as well. Um, we'll take a short break after we conclude this meeting and then um, start our budget workshop. And then Tuesday, March 22nd, we will have an additional um, 7 p.m. budget meeting in the high school library. And these are posted on the website for anyone who's interested in attending. Um, and may I have a motion to adjourn our business meeting? So moved. Second? Okay. All those in favor? Great. Okay. And let's take a quick break between um, the um, this meeting and our workshop. Thank you. Yeah. I know